In this video lecture, we're going to uh, talk about the reaction between carbonates and acids to produce salt, water, and carbon dioxide. Now, carbonates are compounds uh, that contain carbonate ions. Carbonate ions are CO3, 2 minus, they are polyatomic ions having a charge of 2 minus. So, so there has to be a positive ion uh, attached to it. So, it could be any positive ion that would make it a carbonate. So, generally, they are metal carbonates. Metal carbonates are metal, uh, there's a metal ion and a carbonate ion. For example, there's sodium carbonate. Na is 1 plus, CO3 is 2 minus. So the formula is going to be using the crisscross method. It's going to be Na2CO3. So we, so you have metal carbonates. Then you have ammonium carbonate. Ammonium is also a positive ion that could be attached to a carbonate ion to form a compound containing carbonate. So it's NH4 is 1 plus. That's ammonium. And CO3 is 2 minus. So the formula of the compound is going to be NH4 would be twice. So it's going to be using the crisscross method. It's going to be NH4, 2, and CO3, there would be one carbonate ion and remove the charges. So when we talk about carbonates, there are any compounds having carbonate ions in them. So they could be metal carbonates or they could be ammonium carbonate. Now we're going to discuss why carbonates react with acids. Remember, acids were compounds that produce H plus 1 ions. So they generally react with substances that gain H plus 1 ions. So carbonates are considered carbonate salts. Carbonates are salts uh, and they're, mo they're considered to be basic salts. When, what we mean by the term basic salt is that they tend to gain H plus 1 ions. So anything that is basic has a tendency to gain H plus 1 ions, which are generally coming from acids. So the reason why carbonate salts are considered basic is because this carbonate ion, CO3 2 minus, any compound containing this carbonate ion, it has a very strong affinity or attraction for H plus 1 ion. It likes to gain H plus 1 ions and it ends up forming H2O and carbon dioxide. So these carbonate ions, and to balance this, there should be two H plus 1. So what happens is that these carbonate ions, they are very, they are, they generally tend to be basic they like to gain H plus 1 ions. So whenever H plus 1 ions are present, they gain H plus 1 ions and they end up producing H2O and CO2. So although uh, metal carbonates and ammonium carbonates are salts, but they are basic salts because they have this carbonate ion which has a strong attraction for H plus 1 and they end up forming H2O and CO2. Now I'm going to try to make an equation uh, carbonate plus acid produces salt, water, and carbon dioxide. So we're going to learn how to make an equation. So I have this carbonate. I've taken sodium carbonate, which is Na2CO3, and I'm reacting with it with an acid, which is HNO3. And it's going to produce salt, and it's going to produce water, and it's going to produce carbon dioxide. So water and carbon dioxide would always be produced. So let's uh, write down water and carbon dioxide first. They would always be produced. And now we need to figure out the formula of the salt and the salt is produced when an acid is neutralized what that means is get rid of the h in the acid if there's no h that would mean the, the acid would no longer be able to act as an acid because an acid by definition produces h plus one ion so if you get rid of the h plus one ions and replace it with any other positive ion so let's remove this h plus one and replace it with any other positive ion which in this case is the sodium ion because the only other positive ion in this equation is the sodium ion so I'm going to get rid of the H in the acid and put Na in its place. So it's going to become NaNO3. Now NO3 is minus 1, Na is uh, plus 1. So the formula of the salt is going to be NaNO3. You can remove the charges because the overall charge is going to be 0. So this is the formula of the salt that would be produced. And the only thing that you need to figure out in this reaction is the formula of the salt. So it's the salt is produced in exactly the same way as in the previous reactions. Neutralize the acid, get rid of the H, and replace that H with any other positive ion in the equation, which in this case is the sodium ion. There's no other positive ion in the reaction. So this is the salt that is produced. So sodium carbonate reacts with nitric acid, ends up producing sodium nitrate, water, and carbon dioxide. The last thing that you need to do is you need to balance this equation. So there are two sodiums on the left hand side so there should be two more two um, formula units of sodium nitrate and that would make no3 there would be two no3 so there should be two molecules of hno3 
and uh, the rest of the equation now looks perfectly balanced. So this is a balanced reaction of a carbonate reacting with an acid and it's producing salt, water and carbon dioxide. We are now going to try and write this second reaction. Again, it's a carbonate reacting with an acid, so it's going to produce salt, water and carbon dioxide. So this time I have magnesium carbonate. First, I need to figure out the formula of magnesium carbonate. Now, magnesium is Mg, it's in group 2, so it has a charge of 2 plus. Carbonate is CO3 and it has a charge of 2 minus. So in this case, the charges would cancel out and the overall charge would be 0. So it's going to be the formula of magnesium carbonate is just going to be MgCO3. Then you have hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is HCl. So that's HCl. The products that will be produced in this reaction are going to be salt, water and carbon dioxide. So write down water and carbon dioxide. And we're going to figure out the formula of the salt. And again, the salt is produced when an acid is neutralized. Get rid of the H plus ions in the acid and replace it with the other positive ion, which is Mg in this case. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to replace the H plus one in the acid and put Mg in its place. So let's put Mg over there. So it's going to be MgCl, but Cl is 1 minus. It's in group 7. Mg is 2 plus. So if you use the crisscross method, the formula of this uh, salt is going to be MgCl2. And remove the charges. The overall charge is going to be 0. So this is the formula of the salt that would be produced. And the final thing that you need to do is you need to balance this equation. There are two Cl's over on the right-hand side. So there should be two molecules of HCl. And the rest of the equation looks perfectly balanced. So this is your complete reaction of a carbonate, magnesium carbonate reacting with hydrochloric acid, producing magnesium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. Let's do this third example now where I have aluminum carbonate and it's a carbonate reacting with sulfuric, sulfuric acid. So uh, first we need to figure out the formula of aluminum carbonate. Aluminum is in group 3, so it has a charge of 3 plus. Carbonate is CO3 and it has a charge of 2 minus. So the formula of aluminum carbonate is going, using the crisscross method. It's going to be Al would be 2 and there would be 3 carbonate ions. And I would rub off the charges because the overall charge is going to be 0 in this case. Then I have the reacting with sulfuric acid. So that's H2SO4. That's sulfuric acid. And they're going to produce, when they react, they're going to produce a salt, a water molecule and a carbon dioxide molecule. So, so let's write down these two and figure out the formula of the salt. Now again, the salt is produced when an acid is neutralized. Get rid of the H in the acid. So we're going to get rid of uh, uh, the hydrogen ions in the acid and replace it with the other positive ion which is aluminium ions in this case so replace the H plus 1 in the acid by aluminium ions so we're going to do that we're going to so it's going to be Al and SO4 but the formula is going to be because Al is 3 plus SO4 is 2 minus so the formula is going to be it's going to be Al2 and SO4 would be 3 and we can rub off these charges the overall charge is going to be zero so this is your reaction these are the formulas of aluminium carbonate reacting with sulfuric acid producing a salt a water molecule and a carbon dioxide molecule so the last thing that we need to do is we need to balance this equation now aluminium starting off with the easiest aluminium is already balanced so we don't need to do that but sulfate so4 the three sulfate ions over here so there should be three h2so4 molecules which would make six hydrogens over here. So there should be three water molecules to have six hydrogens. And uh, carbon, there are three carbons over here. There are three carbonate. Each carbonate has one carbon. So three carbonate is going to have three carbons. So let's uh, balance that as well. Now your equation is balanced. Uh, all the elements are balanced. So the last most difficult one, oxygens, would, would also be balanced. There are nine oxygens and there are 12 oxygens over here. There are 12 oxygens over here. And there are six plus three nine oxygens over here. So the oxygen atoms are also balanced. So this is your balanced equation of aluminum carbonate reacting with sulfuric acid producing aluminum sulfate, water and carbon dioxide. Now let's do a fourth example where you have calcium carbonate and it's reacting with phosphoric acid. So let's uh, figure out the formulas of uh, calcium carbonate first. Calcium is in group two, so it has a charge of two plus. Uh, carbonate is CO3 and it has a charge of 2 minus so the charges are going to cancel each other out 2 plus and 2 minus are going to cancel each other out so let's remove the charges uh, the formula of calcium carbonate is just going to be CaCO3 then you have it's reacting with phosphoric acid which is H3PO4 
So again, it's a carbonate plus uh, acid reaction. So the products would be a salt, a water molecule, and it's also going to produce, give me carbon dioxide gas. So the only thing I need to figure out now is the salt. Remember, uh, neutralize the acid, get rid of the H in the acid, and replace it with the other positive ion, which is in this case is the calcium ion. So, so I'm going to I'm going to replace uh, these H plus one ions in the acid with calcium ions. So I'm going to get Ca and PO4. So the only thing is that Ca has a charge of 2 plus, PO4 has a charge of 3 minus. So the formula using crisscross method is going to be Ca would be 3 and PO4 would be 2. And you can uh, remove the charges. The overall charge is going to be 0. So this is the formula of the salt that would be produced. It's called calcium phosphate. So calcium carbonate reacting with phosphoric acid produces calcium phosphate, water and carbon dioxide. Then we need to balance this equation. So to balance the equation, we start off with the easiest calcium. Uh, the three calciums over here, so there should be three molecules of calcium carbonate. Uh, on the other, the two PO4 ions, so there should be two molecules of H3PO4. That would make six hydrogens, so that should be three. There should be three water molecules. And if you look at carbon, there's one carbon in calcium carbonate, but there are three molecules, so there should be three carbon dioxide molecules. And the last thing is that the oxygen atoms would be balanced automatically. There are nine oxygens over here, three molecules, so that would make nine oxygens. There are eight over here, so that's eight plus nine. Uh, eight plus nine is 17 oxygens. So there are eight oxygens over here, three over, six over here, three over here, so that's also 17 oxygens. So the oxygen atoms are also automatically balanced. So I'm now going to do one last example where I have ammonium carbonate uh, reacting with nitric acid. Again, it's a carbonate plus acid reaction, so let's complete that. Ammonium is NH4 and the charge on ammonium is 1 plus and carbonate is CO3 and the charge on carbonate is 2 minus. So the formula using the crisscross method is going to be uh, ammonium would be twice. Uh, so there would be two ammonium ions. Uh, let's rub off the charges. The overall charge is going to be zero. And then you have you're reacting it with nitric acid, which is HNO3. So again, a salt would be produced, a carbon dioxide molecule would be produced. So let's write that down and a water molecule would be produced. So these would be produced. So I'm going to write that down as it is. And I'm going to figure out the formula of the salt by neutralizing the acid, get rid of the H and substitute it with the other positive ion, which in this case is the ammonium ion. So it's slightly different than the previous reaction. Now you have ammonium, which is the positive ion. So let's uh, get rid of the H. So you will have ammonium and nitrate. Now ammonium is plus one, nitrate is minus one. So the formula is going to be ammonium nitrate and you can now balance the equation. There are two ammoniums over here. So there should be two molecules of ammonium nitrate, which would make two molecules of uh, nitric acid and the rest, rest of the equation looks perfectly balanced. Uh, carbon is balanced, so everything is balanced. So this is your, this is your reaction where ammonium carbonate is reacting with nitric acid and producing ammonium nitrate, carbon dioxide, and a water molecule.